Hello everyone, I'm Rachel with the McQueen Science Center and welcome to today's episode of SciSparks. What if I told you that we can make this can disappear, but the soda will stay in place? Stay tuned to find out if it can be done. This can is made out of aluminum to make it disappear. We'll need the help of some chemicals. So, on my experiment table, I have sodium hydroxide and water. When we mix this sodium hydroxide with water, it starts to heat up. This heat is energy that comes from the molecules ripping apart and recombining. We call this an exothermic reaction. It's a strong enough reaction to destroy this aluminum foil. But if it does that to our aluminum foil, what will it do to our can full of soda? <coughs> <laughs> when we add the aluminum can, it instantly reacts with the sodium hydroxide solution, forming sodium aluminate and hydrogen gas. This might take a while, so let's speed things up. Let's take a look and see if the soda is still in place. The aluminum can has mostly dissolved in the sodium hydroxide solution, but we're left behind with this. This is a thin plastic lining that coats the inside of our beverage cans. But why is it there? Well, like our sodium hydroxide solution, our soft drinks can also corrode the aluminum can. This causes chemical leaching, which can be dangerous. Which is why the plastic is there in the first place. If sodium hydroxide can't dissolve plastic, then neither can our soda. You might worry that this plastic coating inside the aluminum can would make it harder to recycle, but overall, our aluminum cans are still 97% recyclable, meaning that if we recycled 100 cans, we could make 97 new ones. So if you have the choice, choose aluminum. Thank you for watching today's episode of SciSparks. To catch new episodes as soon as they're released, subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit us at mcqueen.org. Until next time.